Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. Hey guys, my name is Ashton Ward and I am a former pitcher at Virginia Tech. And in today's video, we're just gonna go over the basic fundamentals of pitching. We're gonna break that down, starting with the importance of our drive off of the mound. We're then gonna talk about a good open position and the angle we want our body in when we land. And then very importantly, we're gonna talk about our windmill, our snap, and the importance of driving our legs through our front side. So let's go ahead and get started with our drive off of the mound. Okay, so as I stated earlier, the first and very important thing we're gonna talk about is our drive off of the mound, okay? So as we know, we all have different pitching motions, but most importantly, whatever that motion is, we wanna be in a good, strong push-off position off of that mound, okay? So let's say whether we pull the ball over our head and get to that position, or we're just taking our windmill straight back and we're getting in that push off position. Either way, it's important that when I'm about to push off the mound to pitch, my head is in front of my knee and my knee is in front of my toe. So I'm in this angle, okay? What you wanna be careful of is that we're not bending at the waist because then we're losing power in our legs and we also don't want to be standing straight up and down. You want to have a good bend in your knee once you've done your pitching motion, you're about to push off so that I'm ready to launch off the mound. Another important thing to think about is if you do swing your arm back, you don't want to come out in this slot away from your body and you also don't want to swing the ball back behind your body. It's important that we don't twist our shoulders a lot when we're driving off the mound, that we're staying pretty solid, straight forward to our catcher, ready to get in that good, strong, open position. So again, I'm getting my momentum. I'm about to push off and pitch. My chest is up. My head is over my knee. My knee is over my toe, and I'm ready to push off and pitch. Okay, guys. So we've talked a little bit about pushing off of the mound, the drive and the launch angle that we want to have. The next thing we're going to talk about is our landing position and how we want to be open and in a 45 degree angle, okay? So to reiterate, I've got my momentum off the mound, I'm in that good launch angle, and I'm ready to drive off. So the first thing I want to talk about is our arms, where we want them to go. It's very important that I take both of my arms straight to the catcher, okay? So many of us, when we go to push out, we wanna fly that glove arm out, so it causes my left shoulder to fly open. It's very important that out the gate, we're taking the ball and the glove straight to my catcher, okay? Again, same with our throwing hand and our windmill. We don't want that to be in a slot away from our body. We don't wanna curl it over our head so it's important that that comes straight up with my glove straight to the catcher, okay? Also, in speaking about driving straight out, as we all know, these pitching rubbers are made with a power line for a reason, because we're gonna throw a much stronger pitch if we're driving straight down our power line. And again, we're not stepping off to the left or stepping over to the right, causing us to lose that straight power drive. So it's important we land on our power line, good push off position, my arms are coming straight out. And just as important as landing on that power line and getting that good stride, we wanna take that back leg. So for righties, it's gonna be your back left leg. For lefties, your back right leg needs to drive up and out off the mound, okay? So I'm in a good push off position. My arms come straight up. My back leg comes up with it. Imagine them all on a string. They come all together, push out on my power line in a good open position, okay? So let's talk about when we do land, how we want our body angle, okay? So it's very important that when we land for a fastball, our toe is pointed in a 45 degree angle, okay? We don't want to land and our toe be pointed straight at our catcher. And we don't want to land completely closed off or we're completely sideways to our catcher. We want our toe in a 45 degree angle and that's going to help our hips be in a 45 degree angle as well. That's what's going to have, give us the strongest pitch. So if I'm going a little faster, I'm pushing off the mound. This is the angle I'm landing in. Arms straight on my power line 
45 degree angle with my toe and my hips, ready to throw a good strong pitch. So we've talked about pushing off the mound, we've talked about how we want to land and get open. So let's talk about where we go from when we are landing in that open position, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about is the importance of our windmill and it's staying close to our body and staying on track. So again, as I talked earlier, when we have this slot away from our body, sometimes that can cause us to kind of pull our windmill back over our head and then sling the ball across our body when we're going to snap, okay? So from here, it's very important that I'm taking that ball straight over my head. Think about it being right above your ear and your arm brushing your ear. So I'm gonna go straight over my head to where I'm getting in this good, strong, three o'clock and nine o'clock angle with my arms, ready to drag that toe up and bring it all together, okay? So I've landed, my windmill is straight over my head. I'm coming down, I'm in that nine o'clock and three o'clock position. Now what I wanna talk about is the importance of our drag. So what a lot of us wanna do is drag back behind our body, so it's causing our hips to twist. And then a lot of us will just stop that drag, right? It's very important that when we do, we are going to release and snap the ball that we're dragging our back knee and our back toe straight into our front leg, okay? Also, I wanna talk about the importance of keeping that toe on the ground the whole time. So I feel like I have a lot of my athletes that when they push off the mound, their first motion is to jump and their back toe comes off of the ground, okay? Then we're gonna lose drive and we're gonna lose leverage and it's gonna make it harder to snap the ball. So I want you guys to focus on the importance of pushing through that front toe when you're coming off the mound so that it never leaves the ground. So I'm here, all my limbs are coming up and out together. I'm ready to drag that toe and that knee into my front foot, okay? So, Let's break it down again. I'm good push off position. Everything's coming together. I'm straight over my ear. My arm is long. When I'm in that nine o'clock and three o'clock position, my toe and my knee are dragging straight into my left leg, okay? So let's talk a little bit about your snap and the importance of the angle of your wrist and your hand. So if you've noticed in this video, every time I push off the mound, I'm bringing the ball straight up to where my hand is on top of the ball, okay? What that's gonna allow me to do is bring the ball, again, over my ear, down into this position here, where I can bring my elbow in, then my wrist, pinky first, and I'm snapping the ball, rolling it off of each fingertip, finishing long and loose, okay? What we wanna be careful of when it comes time to snap the ball that we don't get short and tight with that pitch and we don't stop it, okay? It's important that we're staying long and loose through the zone, bringing our elbow in to our stomach, okay? Not out and around. Elbow comes in, wrist stays close to my body. Pinky first, I'm snapping the ball, driving and finishing long and loose to my catcher, okay? So let's walk through it. My motion gives me some momentum, good launch angle, driving up and off the mound, dragging my toe, snapping to my catcher, okay? Keeping that glove arm in, not letting it swim out. Push off, up and out. Long, loose snap, 